So how can we find the term independent of x in this particular expression? So there are a few things that we need to focus on and things that we need to understand for us to be able to find uh, the term independent of x. First of all, we need to know that if you have an expression like this one, the equation or the formula we're supposed to use is supposed to be a plus b. So this is the expansion to the power n, of which in this case our n is uh, 6. So the formula to use will be the summation from 0 to n, like that. Then the combination of n r, n combined r, a to the power n minus r, b to the power r. So it's important to note that our a is this term that we have here, and our b is this term that we have here, where our n is simply uh, 6. So I'm going to do the substitutions. Now we are only going to focus on uh, this other side. So this is what we're going to do. So since we're looking for the value of r in this case, because we already have, already have the value of n, so we can say, let's combine them. Since it's, it's one term, we're not going to need the summation. What we just need is the value of r. So what we need is 6 combined r. For now, we don't know what r is, but you know what n is, which is 6. a is the first term that we have in that expression. So our first term is x over 2. Uh, the x as a square. Then we have to raise it to the power n minus r, like that. Our b is this expression here, which is negative 2 over x to the power 4 in brackets, raised to the power r. Okay, so now we know that uh, 6 combined r is just a combination, and it will give us a coefficient for this particular term, which is independent of x. So we don't necessarily need this for uh, our computation of the term independent of x. When we say the term independent of x, we simply mean we're looking for a term that does not have x. We have two terms in this case from coming from a and b. If you look at the two terms, we can see that from a, x is in the, is in the numerator, from b, x is in the denominator. So how do we balance up these two such that x cancels out, then we have our term which is um, independent of x. What we're going to do is, we're going to focus on the powers of x only. By that is what we mean. So if you look at uh, this expression that we have here, what are the powers of x? So before we go into that, let's do this. Let's say 6 combined r. This we can write it as x squared over 2. So for now let's just write it as it is. Then this one can be rewritten as negative 2 x to the power negative 4. Like that to the power r. So what we've done here is uh, this x to the power 4 has just gone to the numerator and hence it has a negative power. So now we're going to focus on the powers of x only because remember the powers of x have to add up to, to 0. So focusing on the powers of x only, this is what we're going to get. For this part that we have here, uh, the power of x inside there is 2. So we can say 2, open bracket. The power of x that we have there is simply n minus r. Like that then we are adding these two powers and everything must be equal to zero so we're going to say plus like that then here the powers of x we have negative four times r which is minus four r and remember everything is equal to, to x we have the value of n the value of n is uh, six so we can have it as two six minus r plus negative four like that Everything, you can put them in brackets, it's okay. Everything is equal to zero. Okay, so from there, let's do our expansion. We find the value of r. This will give us 12 minus 2r minus 4r is equal to zero. So this can become uh, negative 2, uh, let's just add them together. So that will be negative 6r is equal to the 12 over that side and becomes negative like that. So it's obvious that the value of r in this case is simply 2. So we have found the value of r. That's the key thing. After we find the value of r, how do we determine the, the term independent of x? 
So if you have been told to state which term is independent of x, you simply say the third term is independent of x. I'll explain why. But uh, for us to, for, for me to show you that uh, what we're getting is actually zero, what we're going to do is we're going to come back uh, to our expression at this stage here. So I'm just going to do the, the substitutions. So let's just focus on this part. Here where there's n, remember n is 6, r is 2, so we'll have uh, 6 combined to, this will give us x to the power, so 6 minus 2, that is 4, 4 times this 2 that we have there, so it's 8, over uh, 6 minus 2, that is 4, so 2 to the power 4, you can just write it as 2 to the power 4 for now, like that. Then on this part here, the R we found is a 2, so that 2 will be raised to, this 2 will be raised to that 2, hence we'll have a 4 over, it becomes a positive because the power is uh, even, so that same 2 uh, times this 4 that we have here will have x to the power 4. Now everything else doesn't matter, what matters here is having, uh, sorry I made a mistake, this is supposed to be power 8. What really matters here is making sure that x has the same power so that x cancels. So if x cancels, the only thing that we're dealing with is values that we can simply um, simplify and find that particular term. Now, the question says find the term independent of x. So you can go ahead and calculate the actual term because uh, 6 combined 2, that's 15. So 15 multiplied by 1 over 16, and then multiplied by 4. This will give you the actual term. But the term itself is the third term. Why is it the third term? Because we know that when we're combining, we start by saying uh, 6 combined 0, so that is term number 1. 6 combined 1, that is term number 2. Then 6 combined 2, so that is term number 3. So that's the reason why I've said the term independent of x is simply the third term. And the actual term is what you get when you simplify this expression that we have here. So I hope it makes sense. So to simplify this expression, we can simply say 4 there, 4 there, 4. So it will be 15 over 4 as uh, the term that we're interested in. So this is how we find the term independent of x. Thank you very much.